In our last video, we talked about managing discussion in a virtual environment. But what if you have to answer difficult questions? You really have to think ahead and prepare. Here's my colleague, Allison Rosen, with more. We hear a lot from our people who we work with that they, they feel pretty good with the prepared presentation. But when it comes to Q&A, they're really scared. Mm -hmm. So I think we just have one message for them. Don't fear the questions. <laughs> the questions don't do the damage. Only the answers do, right? You really, you really can use that Q&A period, since you've done your homework at the beginning, to really think about what you want to say, is to use the Q&A period to have another opportunity to deliver those, deliver those messages over the course of your presentation. So how do you do that? Well, you got to prepare. you got to prepare for those questions. So the first thing we want you to do is to identify the three questions that you're definitely likely to get, good or bad, ones you want to get or not, write those questions down. And then we want to ask you to be really honest with yourself and identify the three questions that you don't want to answer. Because the last thing you want to do is be surprised and have a question come at you that you haven't thought for. Even if you knew it was coming, you didn't prepare. And then you got to answer them and then practice answering them. So three really quick steps. Let me give you a model of what that can look like. We call it the 3D Q&A roadmap, and it's a pretty simple process, at least on paper, got to practice. It's a pretty simple process to get from a challenging question over to your message. So that challenging question comes in, the very first thing, the first thing you need to do, you got to answer the question. That's all about your credibility, people believing you, trusting you, they asking you a question, you got to answer it. Even if the question is you don't know, or it's a question you don't want to spend a lot of time talking about, the answer can be pretty short. No, yes, maybe, I'll look into it. But then really important is the other half of the 3D Q&A roadmap, and that is the opportunity you need to take to bridge and get over to your messages. So what do we mean by bridging? Well, bridging are just these small connecting phrases, things like, the most important thing to remember is, or in fact, or actually. And when you, when you, after you answer a question, that allows you to, gives you the, the right to expand and provide more context for your message, uh, which allows you to bring them back to one of your key messages on the message pyramid. And this definitely takes practice. And there are a lot of common pitfalls that people can fall into on their pathway across the roadmap. So let's talk about a couple of them. The first is not answering the question. And we hear this a lot. I live in Washington, D.C. A lot of politicians get, can, get often commented that they don't answer the question. They just speak to their talking points. And that's just something that really annoys audiences. And so you want to avoid that. You definitely want to answer the question, which gives you the right to then bridge and then go to your message. The next thing that people do is they do something that we call breaking into jail, right? We all know you don't want to break into jail. You want to break out of jail. So when that challenging question comes in and you answer it, you want to keep going on the, on the road map. But sometimes we know so much information that we just keep talking and keep answering. And next thing you know, you're down a whole rabbit hole of very off-topic information. And you're opening brand new windows to lead your audience to, well, ask another challenging question that isn't anywhere close to your message pyramid. So don't break into jail and don't go off message. So at the end of the day, Q&A is really just a great opportunity to reinforce your message. Thanks for watching. Next up in our series, how to create visuals that really engage your virtual audience. See you then.